As a member of your company's legal department, you have been asked to perform e-discovery on a case. You'll need to collect evidence from a number of custodians who are employees connected with the case. The End Case Information Assurance web-based dashboard is your starting point for collecting that evidence. We begin by clicking the Cases card, which will take us to a list of cases that have been set up within the application. Here is our list of cases. We now select our case, Bronze Direct. Here is the case dashboard. These tabs let you navigate to different aspects of the case. These colored strips display quantitative data about the case and the data that's been collected so far. The dashboard also provides a graphic overview of the status of jobs, legal holds, and custodians associated with the case. Let's now click the Jobs tab to begin our collection process. These are the jobs that have already run for this case. To create a new job, we click the plus button. This opens the Create Job Wizard, which consists of five pages. On the Overview page, we enter the name of our job. And in the Optional Comments field, we'll enter a description of the job. We then click Next. On this page, we'll select the custodians we want to include. We can select one or more, or those that match a filter we define. In this example, we select all three of them. Then click Next. Now we can select a location from which we'll collect our data. We can only select one location at a time. In this example, we select Computers. By the way, if you need to, you can go back and make changes without losing your existing settings. This page displays each combination of custodian and target. In this example, only one target is shown for each custodian. We select all custodian targets, then click Next. Many files on a user's machine aren't relevant for e-discovery, such as system files or executables. So, criteria let us filter out those types of items and collect only what we want. The criteria we'll want to select is called Standard User Created Entries Collection with OLK, which collects unstructured data, including data contained within Outlook. The Info button opens the Criteria Summary dialog, which shows us what filters make up the criteria. Let's click that now and take a look. In this summary view of the criteria, we can see that we're not collecting system files, as signified by the dot in the Not column. We can also see the different file types we are collecting, which is a very comprehensive list. Let's close the Criteria Summary dialog. We select the criteria we want, then click Next. On the Options page, we'll finalize our job settings. At the top, you can choose between collecting metadata only or full data. Selecting metadata reports on the number of files and their size information that can help you decide if the amount of data you'll be collecting will satisfy your e-discovery requirements. Full data collects all data in a forensically sound manner. This is the output-based path, where your collected evidence will reside. In this example, we select the dataset Collected Browsable. This dataset kicks off an automated workflow that will extract the data and make it browsable. If we don't specify a data set, a default one that performs no additional functions is used. The Zones section lets you limit a job to specific examiners by geographic area. A best practice is to store data where the examiner service is running. Being able to designate where data is stored is essential when you have to deal with international privacy issues. If you don't select a zone, any examiner service with permissions can pick up the job. 
Now let's click Create Job. Selecting Hold means the job won't run until it's placed in the queue. You might want to select Hold if you want someone else to review your settings before running the job. Selecting Queue submits the job immediately. We select that now, then click Create. In our next video, we'll track the progress of the job that we just created.